Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Bomb Gardener. Um, if you're one of my like seven subscribers, this is probably something a little bit different. You weren't probably expecting all this gear. If you're new, let me fill you in on that joke. So I was doing like finance videos. I guess I thought I was going to be like the next Gary Vee or something. I don't know. The past is gone. Those videos are private. So you can't even, you can't even watch those videos anymore. And don't even try to watch those videos anymore, please. But they are private. So I don't think you can see them. But guys, it's always been a dream of mine since a kid to get a bike. And I've always wanted to do moto vlogs. Just recently in November, I got a bike and I decided to get some of the gear, the GoPro and stuff. And now I'm going to record moto vlogs and see where that takes me it's it's something that i've always wanted to do it's it's something i've always wanted to do as a kid and uh yeah we're gonna do it so let's go get on the bike and we'll start my first moto vlog let's go all right and just like that through the power of editing and video magic we are out on the bike as you can see the bike i went with was a 2022 yamaha r7 um, it seemed like just a perfect bike for me. This is my first street bike. I did ride dirt bikes as a kid, but uh, for a street bike, I didn't want to get something too powerful, like a leader bike or something. And I didn't want to get something too small where I'm six foot four, I'm going to grow out of it really, really fast. So I uh, did a little bit of research and went with this R7. And I'm telling you, I love it. Cause I mean, it's got, it's got that play there. If you want to have fun, But it's not too much to where I'm going to immediately kill myself on it. I mean, I might eventually kill myself on it, but just not yet. You know, it's, it, it, it might take a little while for me to get comfortable to kill myself on it. You know, how optimistic of me. See, I mean, it's... It's got enough, it's got enough play. Take your turn, bro. Yeah, if you guys are looking for a, if you guys are looking for a beginner bike, I highly, highly, highly recommend just to take a look at the uh, Yamaha R7. It's it's great. It's got enough power for somebody that you know that that wants that you know that sport bike feel, but it doesn't have too much to where you're going to do something irresponsible or, or or negligent. So what are we going to do for the first video? I'll tell you exactly what we're doing. We're on our way. Gosh, it is windy every day. I have rode this month. It has been so windy i don't get it i mean like i understand like it's going to be a little bit windy with you know riding a bike but it has been so like naturally windy it's been horrible but anyways the first thing we're going to do today is thanks buddy uh, the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to go wash this baby if you guys follow me on instagram make sure you guys do i'll put a link down below uh we finally chose a name for her her name is officially Athena. If you're wondering how I got the name Athena, uh, I'm going to keep it 100% with you right quick, okay? Um, I put in Google uh, names that mean the color blue. Or no, 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 no. Not even that. I put names that mean ocean or something. I don't know. I put something corny in there. Athena was the first one to pop up and I was like, oh, that actually kind of sounds dope. Let's name the bike Athena. Guys, I'm telling you, just the feeling of finally being out on a bike, it's just like, uh, I, don't, I don't know how to describe it. If you are on the fence to get uh, whatever kind of bike, a Harley, a Super Sport, a dirt bike, I don't freaking bicycle. If you're on the fence, just go get one and go ride, because I'm telling you, like, there's no better feeling than just being out on the road on a bike like I, I wish I wish I could describe it and like I'm really hoping this is another reason why I wanted to do videos on this because like I'm super happy with this and I'm very passionate and I really think that that can reflect into my videos and I think I can make some killer content my edits aren't the greatest right now I'll be honest with you I just think I can make good content you know probably gonna get pulled over I'm in a spot I'm in a, I'm in a city that is <laughs> I'm in a city that'll pull you over for not tying your shoe. Guys, I do have a question for you because I know that uh, a lot of my viewers are gonna be current riders, people that have been riding for a long time, very experienced, and I am extremely new to the to the street bike scene, or the, the sport bike scene, so I do have some questions. Um, first of all, I need a good helmet recommendation. I've been looking at AGV K6s, um, I've been looking at some Roo Rocks. I've seen a lot of YouTubers use Roo Rocks, so like, I'm just not really sure what I should get. Oh no! Farm Gardener! He's new! I kind of remember where this detail spot is. I, 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 I really don't remember. I don't even know if I want to wash it. Like it's it's getting kind of late. It's 252. It's going to be dark in an hour. And I've got a crap ton of stuff I need to film today because this is going to be one of the last warm days of the season. So 
I don't know if I'll even wash it. I might not wash it. All right. We ended up not getting the bike wash because it's about to start raining. Look at her. She's so beautiful. Oh, I love her so much. Guys, I know I mentioned getting an R7, but uh, the exhaust on these are pretty weak. Hope I can get out of here without dying in this gravel. I'm trying to be quiet so these people don't know I'm talking to myself. Yeah, I just didn't feel like getting the uh, the car wash, or the, the car. I didn't feel like getting the bike wash whatever. It's probably about to rain. This is the hardest thing for a new rider. Two in a U-turn. Holy cow. I suck so bad at that. So guys, first video on the channel. Um, obviously, I'm going to have a few questions for you guys. What's the kind of content you guys want to see? Do you guys just want to see going out ride and chilling? Do you guys want to see stunt riding? Um, I can't stunt ride, so if you want to see that, uh, give me a few years and maybe I will be able to stunt ride. But right now, I can't do that. I can do a clutch up willy and hold it for like maybe three seconds. I don't know. But other than that, I can't do anything. I can't control willy really while I'm in the air. I, I, I just, I, I'm horrible at it. But just let me know like what you guys want to see. For now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be trying to, uh, I'm just going to be trying to express myself in these videos on this bike and just, I, I want to have a good time with it. I don't, I, I've, I've started YouTube channels before where like I would start on like a subject and like, I thought like, yeah, this would be like really good for views or something. And like, it just, it, it, you're not, if you're not happy with what you're doing, it, you're not, you're not going to keep with it and it's never going to take off. With this bike, I am genuinely so happy riding it and I'm genuinely so happy that I'm getting to finally start making moto vlogs because like I said, it's something I've wanted to do since a kid. So let me know what you guys want to see and uh, I'll try to make that happen. But I am also making content on uh, Instagram and TikTok. Um, I'll leave a link to my link tree down below in the uh, description so you guys can check out those if you want. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I will have announcements and stuff on there. And as the channel grows, we'll be doing giveaways and stuff like that and that'll most likely be handled on instagram or tiktok or something like that Ooh, i'm telling you what going through these like valley roads where the mountains are up on your sides it is freaking cold Burr, I'm freezing. it's currently like 59 out there so i can't go oh an airplane <laughs> let's stare at the airplane while we're riding a motorcycle i don't know how many of you guys are in the uh west virginia area but i live in the uh the Cabell County area of West Virginia if you're from here you'll notice this is you'll, you'll, you'll notice some of these landmarks I don't want to specifically say what road and stuff I'm on I'm sure I probably passed the sign if you ever see it but um yeah if you guys are in the area let me know like I'm looking for people to ride with like of course I've got some close friends that you know do already have bikes and I can ride with them but I'm always looking for for new people to hang out with and and fun people that can bring a lot of energy to the channel. Look at that guy hanging. Dude, that would be the scariest job in the world. I, there's no way I could do it. Having to freaking hang from those poles and touch electricity. Like, I do not mess with electricity. Fun fact, biggest phobia is electricity. I ain't playing with it. No, sir. If you guys notice, I probably sound a little bit, uh, a little bit congested, a little measly. Um, I got COVID about a week ago and I'm still having slight symptoms but nothing like nothing like absolutely crazy so like I'm I'm getting quite a bit better um, I feel way better it's just literally I just have the congestion so yeah that's why my voice sounds really weird and I might not have the super high energy that I usually do it might be putting me down just a little bit but that's okay because we're still gonna have so much freaking fun on this channel and we're gonna go so fast oh my gosh I haven't run out this road yet on the on the motorcycle I've been out this road on a car a few times as far as I remember it's built pretty well not too many potholes there's a house out here that had some crazy Christmas lights though right now it's January 31st so I don't know if they'll still be up but hopefully they are because I'd love to see it we're gonna rev this R7 whoa oh my gosh wow did you all hear that probably not over my screaming probably ruined it. I wonder if that's I think that's the road I need to take to go to the house with the lights. We might have to do us a little janky U-turn here. Oh, I can't wait to get the exhaust for this bike. If you guys have an R7 and you guys are planning on installing a Yosha or a R770 full exhaust system, uh, make sure you sub to the channel because 
I will be getting one. Oh god, we got a township. I will be getting one very, very soon, and we will be installing it. Yeah, I think I needed to take that turn to go see those lights. So I actually haven't been to like see the lights yet. But I always see it off the interstate, and I think it's this road that they're off of. Let's do a... This is probably a horrible place to do a turnaround. Let's not do a turnaround here. Yeah, look at that. I already did a turnaround, and I got splatted by a Jeep. If I ever die by a Jeep, dude, I'm going to be ticked. Oh, uh, gravel. Hopefully these guys aren't like, Get off my property. Don't shit on me, brother. Oh. Oh. Another thing I'm learning that's kind of hard is launching from a hill but i'm getting it down look at that a little smooth ah! my bike went to neutral i did a false neutral again dude i don't know if like that's like a noob thing or if this bike is just like notorious for false neutrals if anybody has an r7 let me know because gosh dang dude i false neutral this thing so much it's horrible what up, dude? If these people have their Christmas lights up still, that'll make my heart so happy because I never got a chance to come out and look at them. And I would really like to look at them. And I would love to show you guys the Christmas lights. Christmas lights are so pretty. Oh, wow, this is steep. Okay, we're gonna take a left here. And I would say it'll lap all the way around. I don't think this is it. Hmm, where could these lights be? I don't know, but I would like to see them. Where am I? <laughs> oh, another airplane. Look at it. It's so cool. Oh, dude, we're definitely getting the assist on this kid right here. Let me get the assist. Pass it. Oh, 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 assist. Let's go! Woo! That deserved a willy. I won't do a crazy willy because I'm in a residential area and that's kind of jacked up, but he deserved a little willy for that assist because that was gnarly. I think we have failed the mission. We are not gonna get to see Christmas lights. Well, let's take this road out a little bit further because um, I haven't really got a lot of experience on curvy roads and uh, yeah, I'd like to I'd like to take some curvy roads. So pro tip for you guys, if you have a phone mount and uh, hopefully you have it mounted a little bit more secure than I do. So if you have a phone mount on your bike or even if you're just driving a car and you're driving a road that you're not super familiar with and you know it's curvy, pull up the Waze app and you can keep peeking at it and see how strong and tight these curves are. So like I can see that this curve is going to be kind of tight. There's a little bit of water on the road too. So you know I don't want to be taking stuff too crazy tonight. Alright guys we explored just about as much as I'm going to be exploring tonight. I need to get home before the rain starts. But guys I really appreciate you all tuning in to my first moto vlog. There's going to be a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of content coming out. And uh, I'm like literally so super stoked about it. Like I wish I could... I wish I could. Oh, look at the reflection of me. Don't I look sick? Yeah. Sick. But um, I wish that I could like really convey just how excited I am for this. But I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you are new to the channel, if you're not one of the seven people that subscribe, I mean, geez. Um, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you follow me again. I'm going to shamelessly plug it again. Follow my TikTok. Follow my Instagram. I'm going to be posting a lot of cool edits on there. So make sure you do all that. And uh, should we have a cool outro? No, goodbye.